Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. My name is Apostle Cedric, and I bring you an amazing prophetic word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is the part five of why this is why you cannot fast. I hope that this prophetic series has been a blessing to your life. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to understand uh, that very, very importantly, fasting is a mystery that cannot be overemphasized. Fasting is a mystery that cannot be substituted. You cannot substitute fasting with prayer. You cannot substitute fasting with seed sowing. All of these things work together. They complement each other. They don't substitute each other. In other words, you cannot pray too long that the prayer destroys or removes the possibility of fasting. What can only break by fasting will only break by fasting, not by prayer. It doesn't matter how long you pray. If that thing you are battling with only responds to fasting and prayer, prayer alone will not do the job. So you have to understand these mysteries. Many people don't fast and they think it's okay because they grew up in systems that permit people not to fast because you grew up with the structuring, with the absence of fast, so it becomes a normal thing to you. Don't grow to a point where you get to a dimension where abnormality is normal. Don't get to a point where lack of spiritual maturity is normal. It becomes a big problem to you. This is why you cannot fast. It's because God is not helping you. You see, the spiritual realm, in the book of Hebrews 11 from verse 3, by faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. So the things which are seen are from things not seen. We see in the book of Colossians that the Bible says that the visible things of this world, the invisible things of this world are understood by the visible things. So there are dimensions of fasting you can never take until a spirit assists you. I know people who have entered the glory realm. I'm telling you, there is a dimension where people, where mortality has to end. Biologically speaking, it is possible for a human to stay for up to 40 days without food or water and they won't die. It is possible to stay for 19 days, 21 days, no food, no water, biologically, and you will not die. Now, but there is a dimension to cross this limit. How do I fast and pray? I have fasted and prayed I for 10 days. 10 days, no food, no water. And I tell you, it was very hard because to be able to pray with charisma, prayer is already taking energy. I'm telling you, prayer is like hard work. When you pray the way we pray, the way I pray, it's like it's already hard work. It's like you, it's like you're doing physical job. It's very important. Very, um, um, it takes your energy. But how are you able to pray for ten days and fast, twenty one days, forty days? It is one secret: the help of God and the mystery of the glory realm. When you ascend into the realm called glory, your flesh and its possibilities are suspended. You get to a dimension where you are in a level where the rules of the mortal man is suspended for the spiritual man to be revealed in the book of Romans 8 from verse 1 there is now therefore no more condemnation to them who are in Christ that's not all those who walk after the law of the spirit not the law of the flesh so the moment you walk in the spirit you are you are alienated from from the subjection to mortal constraints and restrictions are we together at all you must understand you don't fast because god is not helping you when you begin to enter levels of fasting you get to a level where you transcend the physical and you enter into the realm of the spirit and you are able to hit some frequencies in fasting that the mortal flesh cannot understand the reason why your body gets weary you try to fast and you are tired is because you are fasting outside the glory how do you explain moses carving the commandments on stones Yet it's only 40 days fast, no food, no water. He was carried, he was caught up in the glory realm. When you enter the glory realm, there is nothing you feel like hunger. It makes you enter the realm where time is no longer a factor. You enter into the time of God. Do you want to fast for long? Do you want to hit us in fasting? Step into the glory realm and you will see yourself fast beyond your physical ability. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.